everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today, we're talking about the truth behind playing Magic the Gathering Arena on any device. Now, this is going to include your Android phone, your iOS phone, your MacBooks, your Google Chromebooks, really any device that you would like to play it on, even specific tablets, right? So we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts, what's possible, what should you not even consider trying, and really what directions you're going to want to look. And then finally, we do have some really good news just recently released. So we're going to talk about that and much, much more in today's video. Let's get right into it. The first method of playing Magic the Gathering Arena on your mobile device that I'd like to talk about today is Chrome Remote Desktop. So there's a couple positives and a couple negatives to this method. We're gonna talk about each and why you should probably lean towards this or lean away from it, depending upon your needs and resources. So Chrome Remote Desktop is great because it installs very quickly and you can be playing Magic the Gathering Arena on your mobile device in under 10 minutes. So all you need is Chrome on your Windows machine and then you download Chrome Remote Desktop on your phone you install it, you link the two together, boom, you're done. The touchpad on Chrome Remote Desktop is not the greatest. We can upgrade to an application called AnyDesk, which works in the exact same fashion. And then if we wanna go a step further, we have an application called Steam Play because you can play Magic the Gathering Arena through Steam. And Steam has this same situation built into it. And I find that the lag time in Steam Play is probably the least and the most on Chrome Remote Desktop. AnyDesk is very similar to Chrome Remote Desktop, but it does have the better feel when you're touching your cards to it. So my pick here obviously is Steam Play if you can swing it. If not, try AnyDesk. But again, if you're looking to just get it done quickest, go ahead and check out Chrome Remote Desktop as it is the easiest to get going. Pros to all of these, they're very quick to get going. And then the downside, you do have to have a Windows machine running in the background to access Magic the Gathering Arena on your mobile device. And I can already hear you. Well, what if I don't have a Windows machine to run this on in the background? What if I only have a Mac or I only have my phone or only this tablet or only this Google Chromebook, right? Um, what do I do then? So don't worry, we've got you guys all covered and we're gonna break down those things as well. If you have a Macintosh computer, obviously just run a virtual box and then run it natively through the emulated Windows environment. If not, there are a couple things you can do as well. We have programs like GeForce, Lutris, and Crossover that we can run Windows games on a Macintosh environment. We can't always run a virtual box to emulate Windows and run it natively due to the restrictions on said computer. Uh, however, if we do have free reign on that computer, I recommend just running the virtual box. But if not, be sure to check out GeForce, Lutris, and Crossover, which are all applications that allow you to run Windows games via a Linux system. I did have some experience with each of these. Crossover, I could not get to work. There's a couple articles on it and a list of dependencies. No grow on crossover. Lutris will work, but you do need some Linux know-how to get everything up and running. GeForce is by far the friendliest, and that is a free program, but however, there are restrictions on it, and if you want to remove those restrictions, it is going to cost you a little bit. The restrictions are a wait time in queue and then a limited play time, which is about an hour. So a little bit of a downside there, but definitely if you have a Macintosh, I recommend VirtualBox, and then if not, try Lutris. And if you don't have the know-how to get Lutris started, check out GeForce. And then again, if you're interested in just seeing what Crossover is kind of like, potentially for different applications, go ahead and check that out. But I can guarantee you that that does not work on Crossover. Moving on, if we have a Google Chromebook or another laptop that's not running Windows, we can use Mr. Chromebox to turn it into a Windows machine. Now, Mr. Chromebox is just a gentleman who runs a firmware website. He makes custom firmwares for different tech items. So he's got a lovely repository of information and you can take a Google Chrome device and put Windows on it. And then we're able to play Magic the Gathering Arena natively on our Google Chrome device, which now has Windows operating system. So that's really, really cool there as well. So this is where things get a little bit trickier. We're moving on to playing directly off of our phones without a computer. Now we're gonna use an application called Wine to do this, and this is a lot. So we're just gonna to touch on it because when you hear what I have to say in the next segment, this one is not even going to matter. 
So WINE is an acronym for WINE is not an emulator. It's a compatibility layer capable of running Windows applications on systems such as Linux, Mac OS, and BSD, which is really, really cool. However, if you're on one of those systems, you're probably gonna have the know-how to do this. If not, it's gonna be a lot to learn. I spent hours, you guys, trying to figure out how to get Magic the Gathering Arena running on WINE, but it's not happening. In theory, it's totally possible. You just have to have the correct device and the correct know-how to get everything running. However, I don't think it's worth the time investment unless it was your only option, in which case we would have still be working towards it. I don't recommend going down this path. I think it's a rabbit hole, unless you're one of those people who really loves a hard problem and wants to solve it with little outcome. So again, if you just have your iOS phone or your Android phone, check out Wine. I don't recommend it. We used to wanna go down this path because in theory it is possible people are playing World of Warcraft, they're playing EVE Online, Starcraft, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, right? So they're playing really good games on their phones via Wine. However, those communities uh, have been working towards that for quite some time, which is really, really cool. I definitely don't recommend Wine, but if you're curious enough and brave enough, go ahead and check it out. All right, you guys, so that was some bad news with Wine. We really wanna play it natively on our phones, but again, the average consumer does not have the capability or even the time to go learn the capabilities to get Wine to work out. So until some big-brained IQ maniac does that for us, we're just sitting on the sidelines saying, we know it's possible, but we can't do it. And we have been blessed with a great, great gift. Recently, we had announced that Magic the Gathering Arena is gonna come to mobile in 2020. And we heard about this years ago when they first started talking about it, but they've confirmed it. Uh, I have the direct quote here. Magic Arena will move to mobile in 2020, Golner said on the call. And it's incredibly exciting to give more people access to Magic Arena. So that is super, super, super cool. Uh, we do have some more announcements coming on this. February 21st, there will be the New York Toy Fair convention and Hasbro has a press conference, I suppose, on the 21st where they're gonna announce more about Magic the Gathering Arena on your mobile device in 2020. So that is absolutely insane news. I'm so excited. There's gonna be so many people flooding to play Magic the Gathering Arena, which is incredible. I cannot wait to be playing on my phone out of the house while we're getting those chores done, right? Every minute of my life needs to be magic. So thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. To recap, we talked about how to play Magic the Gathering Arena right now on your mobile device as long as you have a PC at home that can run it via Google Chrome, remote desktop, Steam Play, any PC. We also talked about how to play it via your Mac OS devices through VirtualBox, GeForce, Lutris, and Crossover, which was a big letdown. And then we talked about how you can convert a Google Chrome device or a laptop, right? Because they're not all Google Chromebooks. Some of these devices run Chrome OS with a tablet style. So we talked about how to change your Chromebook and your tablet into a Windows device to play Magic the Gathering natively on that, which was really cool. And we used Mr. Chromebox to do so. Then we talked about the letdown that is wine. It is possible in theory. However, it's gonna contain too much of a time investment for it to really be worth it for the mass majority of people. And then we were blessed by the news that we're gonna be playing Magic the Gathering Arena natively on our mobile devices directly from Wizards of the Coast later this year in 2020. That's all you guys. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about the specific methods I mentioned in this video, go ahead and join the Discord. We'd love to help you sort it out. We are live on Twitch every single morning, 6 a.m. PST, if you'd like to join the live discussion there. And again, if you guys found any value in this video, it would mean the world to me if you tapped that like button, left a comment, and shared it to a friend who you might also think will find value in it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out tomorrow live on Twitch, and we'll see you all there. Hey everybody, if you found any value from this video, check out our other videos. We have a complete playlist filled with videos for a guide for beginners and our greatest hits, both filled with amazing content. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this channel to one of your friends who you thought of while watching our content. Thanks, have a great day.